Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I get to feature a video from Jerski and he has accomplished something that I have yet to do and that is get an ace tanker in the Object 430U. And actually he's also aced his Conqueror, um, which I have unlocked all three tier 10s out of my Conqueror and I've had some really nice games, but I have yet to get an ace tanker in my Conqueror and he aced his Conqueror I think like three or four times, maybe more than that, and he just holds that over my head, so I'm sure he will likely do the same with his 430U until I get that aced, but I'm a potato, I can't even ace my Conqueror, so hopefully uh, I get this feat completed, and <clears throat> he's platooned up with me here, and hoops, I'm in my mouse, and we are going to generally work the north side of this map i feel like the southern flank just gets um stuck down there i mean you definitely can push it out but there's too many firing lanes across the middle um, or across the back side where the northern part is i guess easier to progress along more safely um, you can use these buildings you can use the hills uh, you can use the ridges as you push forward and it's just a lot easier to push forward through this. You know, he's going to get forward and try to get some vision across the middle. So far he's got one spot and one critical hit. Gets another spot here. And we do have some heavy tanks pushing along the beach line. And then the rest of our team is pretty much sitting back camping. So it's 432, comes around the corner to deal with him and was, it looks like he was hoping to catch Drewski off guard, but Drewski was ready for him, had his armor around, and he is going to die very quickly. Maybe he was uh, just fed up with Artie, so he wanted to try to make an Artie run and then that got shut down quick. All right, so there's Mustard Mav over in DC, or well, DC, D6, uh, crying for help. So Drewski's gonna come over here and just try to push those two down back into the hole. And he lets me know that he's just gonna go take them. So as he comes over, looks for a shot into the Pershing, gets a shot into him. FE215B is just sitting there. The machine is going to come up here to assist Drewski. FE215B ammo racks the machine. Drewski gets a shot into the FE215B. The FE215B returns fire, and now Mustard Mav is pushing in. And our 13105 takes him down, which he came up behind him, so. Just he's going to push forward here. And our two heavy tanks in the north died, so now they're pinging the map, letting us know that they lost their flank. And that is why I didn't push there. Now, <laughs> as I'm playing, um, I can only like listen to Drewski at this point because um, we're not facing the same tanks. I think I head back up north, um, but I can't remember. So <clears throat> he's facing off with this machine. And the machine does not have exceptional armor by any means. Um, the front plates are decent, um, but generally are not phenomenal. And you can see the 430U's lack of gun depression. So it comes up, and I believe he bounces off the lower plate. Oh, that's hard to imagine. I think he m missed the lower plate totally. Um, if he did bounce off the lower plate, it's a pretty low roll that he got. You can see Artie splashed the ground in front of him for the second time if you've been paying attention. And now Hoops pulls up in his patent, gets a shot into the machine. Our machine pulls up there to give him a hand. And now he bounces off what looks like the top shoulder plate. So um, I could be wrong on that. And I do know that the hull, the front hull is curved, but I don't know that it should be bouncing those shells. 
Now, as he takes down the machine, I take down a wizard 111-5A. And then their Sheridan takes down our scout. So it is 6-6. Six to six, And now our TDs have either died in the north or they shifted south. I wasn't paying that close of attention. Um, but I guess if I just look at our team makeup, all our TDs are still alive. So they obviously had just shifted south. Um, just then, Hoops uh, says that we have to defend the base. So Drewski whips around and he's going to start heading up there. Now, as he makes his way up there, I am over in, was that D7? Excuse me, I should know all this information before I make a video. So I'm over in D7, kind of holding a corner. Um, they do have a Death Star over there though, and I have taken an absolute beating in my mouse. Um, but that's what I use it for. Uh, I'm not out to get like all the damage in the world, I am just out there to take shells from my team, try to get at least 2,000 damage, um, and maybe push through a choke. And that's a good game in my mouse. Anything above that is just extra. So Drewski decides that he's going to rush this Death Star, and that is very dangerous, because if the Death Star obviously splashes him, he's going to kill him. And he bounces his first shell, now he's just trying to out-traverse the gun, and it looks like he's going to accomplish that. These buildings slow him down a little bit, and the Death Star is trying to back up, but quits rotating, and that could be a big problem for him. I think he decides at this point, hey, if I can take this mouse with me, I will be helping my team out. So he runs over there, and he shoots the mountain behind me. I think he ended up like damaging my track a little bit, um, but I'm able to shut him down. Thank you to Drewski for pushing him out of that position. And now, this is a really fun engagement to watch. So a full health E75 versus a 430U on 672 hit points. And people have been talking about this tank getting nerfed um, because it is just like an easy mode tank. However, tier 9 and tier 10s, if you load premium, this thing isn't the biggest problem in the world. I think it it's over exaggerated because it gets to play tier 8s. Um, and in your, if you're in a tier 8, it's a whole different world. This tank is very hard to penetrate and deal with. You definitely need to track it into its side, um, but generally the players that play this tank um, are going to have good crews, so it's hard to keep track, and they're going to know how to angle their armor. So the E75 is trying to make distance in between uh, himself and Drewski. Drewski breaks his motor and then just backs up, angles his tank, and the E75, I think, was just throwing a Hail Mary hoping. However, the Sheridan is starting to flank him, and he backs up into the Sheridan, breaks the track off, and that's going to allow him to shut the Sheridan down. Did the Sheridan even shoot at him? I didn't see a shot even go towards him. I think the Sheridan knew that he wasn't going to be able to pen him. So let's fast forward. It's only down to two artillery here, and Drewski and Hoops are going to finish this game up. So as you can see, by taking the north, you can just progress around the map a lot better. Whereas the south is just full of open areas, unless you just camp on the 1-2-3 line, which a lot of people do. However, I feel like once the north is lost, then you're surrounded in that little hole, and you're trying to uh, fight your way out of it, whichever angle you perceive is the best. However, if you just win the north, then you can pinch them. The one thing you don't want to do is drive out into the open fields, like one at a time, you will get destroyed. So one of their arties decide, their arty that's left decides to try to cap, which is pretty much like throwing up a flag saying, hey, I'm over here. Um, not that he really stands a chance at this point, but uh, for him to try to cap is pretty ridiculous since it's a three minute cap. Drews Drewski slaps in one shell, already misses the snapshot and he's able to shut him down for the fifth kill. So, end game results. Ace tanker, 6,800 damage, 5 kills, 3,500 blocked, 178 assisted, 3 detected tanks. He gets a steel wall, sniper metal, high caliber, ace tanker. 
very nice game in the 430U. So thank you, Drewski, for throwing this down, allowing me to maybe take a break from my footage and get someone else's in there. I always enjoy uh, throwing up some platoon mates ace tankers and getting you guys some footage of them so you don't get too bored watching mine. All right, I'll quit babbling. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.